most random stupid videos or the hardest ones to get out of your head? Well, random stupid stuff is about to help you get through math when it's boring you to tears. Warning, this stuff really is silly, but it works. So, the next time you're glazing over, I've got two ideas for you to try. We'll get to that in a moment. Here's an example of some silly stuff you can make up to get through math. Now, math vocabulary has got to be the most boring part of math. Take the parts of division. Divisor, dividend, quotient. Ugh, how do you remember that stuff? Well, pretend that the dividing house is a real house, and there's a big juicy steak on the kitchen table inside, and your dog Sparky is staring at it through the window, just going, ugh, I want that steak, it looks so good. Now you climb up onto your roof and you say, hey Sparky, I'll get your dinner in a second. Sparky, the dog, has his eye on the steak. He's eyeing it. He's the divisor. Get it? His end goal is the steak, the dividend. And you're being quoted on top of the house. You're the quotient. So there you go. Dividend, divisor, quotient. Not as hard to remember anymore, thanks to some silly stuff. Now, I seem to remember mentioning something about a cheerleader before to help you from sleeping on your math homework. This is probably the silliest of them all, but it's really helpful. This is what you do. You become your own cheerleader in your head. No need to buy pom-poms. And you pretend that the math homework you're doing in front of you is the most amazing, exciting thing you've ever seen. So instead of saying, ugh, I have to reduce this fraction, you say, I get to reduce this fraction. I can't wait. This is so exciting. I love reducing fractions. The cheerleading method works. And it actually works for more than just math. I've used it on reading comprehension, whatever. Anything to make it a little more interesting. Try this stuff and pretty soon you'll be acing your tests and feeling like a rock star.